Hey, that tourist just took our p, p- picture. Hey, what's he going to do with that? He might go showing that picture all over the place. He's got to respect our Aboriginal laws, especially our law protecting our Wanjana here. But our artists don't have no big name. We don't have the same rights as they do in them fancy art galleries. White fella law doesn't protect us. No, that's Gammon. We have rights. My p- picture tells my story. That story b- b- belongs to my mob. Yes, it does. But we were created in the dreaming. Their law can't deal with that. We got the right to protect what gets passed down. Yes, and that means all our songs and stories too. That's right, Python. Just like a painting or a book their way. Our traditional art, dances and songs need protecting too. They belong to our whole community. A lot of people don't know about it, but there is a thing called ICIP. Indigenous Cultural Intellectual Property. But, 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 but is that just white fella law? We can use the white fella law. The artists that look after us have copyright, but it doesn't cover everything. Our culture is many thousands of years old and copyright only lasts a short time. That's why our people put up signs and use contracts to protect our traditional knowledge and culture. There's also things called protocols that tell them how to respect us. Well, this fella must have missed those signs. So what are we going to tell him? That he needs permission from our elders. Quick, you go tell him, Snake. Hey, tourist, I see I pee. Artists in the Black, helping you protect your work.